I was born and raised in Southern Oregon, grew up in Oregon my entire life, went to college in Eugene, Oregon, I then got married. We now live in Boise, Idaho. I have a three-month-old son named Keegan. Part of your master plan, I commit my spirit to your hands. I've been in Boise for the last seven years. I've been working as a paramedic and have been leading worship full-time uh, in churches around Boi the Boise area. Soul to soul about you until you gave me words to say Cause I can see something changing in me. Between me being a paramedic and now being a full-time musician is just the perspective of having my hand tangibly on situations to help save a life and now being in the music industry and being able to speak and preach the gospel and hopefully save souls. I turn my eyes to you and I raise my hands up to the sky. Is One story about my time as a paramedic was when a lady was struck by lightning out in Boise. She was dead on scene, her heart was not beating. I was the paramedic that responded to her and was able to, we were able to revive her. Her story became a national story which was covered by Larry King, The Today Show. We, shortly after that, we became great friends and she offered to help me in my music, in my ministry, and support me, which made it possible to create my first EP. Everybody's got something they are trying to overcome. Everybody's got a secret they have swept underneath the rug. Five or six years ago, I began gaining a lot of weight and I got to a place where I just, I felt really unhealthy and I felt terrible about myself. And I just, I felt that I needed to do something about it. It was then that I made the decision to change my diet, to change, um, my activity level and I cold turkey I just changed everything and five years later I've lost a total of 116 pounds we got the light that never fades we gotta make it through today hold on oh, hold on okay, we got the light is the new single and it's just a song about hope and it's about healing it's about restoration it's a song that speaks of God's love in the midst of trials, in the midst of our humanness. He is still God, He is still sovereign, is able to restore even the darkest and the worst of situations. He's got the heart, we've got the hope, we got the keys, you got the soul, we got the love coming from above, gotta give it away to everyone. When people hear We Got the Light, I hope that they come away with a message of just hope and love and redemption, knowing that we're all just people that have struggles and issues, that Jesus is the source of all of our hope and He can restore anything. It doesn't matter what we've done or where we've been, He can make all things new. We got the heart that brings the hope, and we got the key to free your soul. Hold on. In my music, there's a recurring theme of perseverance and hope, and the reason for that is because we're all human, and we all deal with stuff on a, on a human level, and we're all um, prone to enduring trial and tribulation, and none of us are immune to that. And I just want to speak hope into that, that there is hope, and there is restoration, there is safety from trial, and that's the Lord. Yesterday, Today, Forever is a song based from an old hymnal that comes from scripture in the book of Hebrews 13 that says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and always. And I love that because it's just a very simple yet solid message that Jesus is never gonna change in the midst of anything that we ever go through. He is our rock and he is always solid. Yesterday, today, forever. What inspires my music and my sound is my time and years spent 
um, as a worship leader and my blend and taste of a variety of music and put together. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. No one ever gave the life for me. And no one ever walked upon the water. No one ever made the blind man see. What I'm trying to do with my music is just bring a fresh perspective and a new sound on a personal level into a worship style that's tangible, relevant to this culture and to this generation. Yeah. My music, I'm really praying that I can just speak a message of hope and healing of love and redemption to people who really need it and just simply share the message and the good news of Jesus. We got the heart that brings the hope And we got the key to free your soul Hold on